Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zach and thanks for tuning back into the channel today. What I have for you guys is another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. There's new little bits and pieces of information surfacing every single day as more and more gaming news outlets release their articles on their hands-on previews from Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I bring you five new pieces of information as well as a little bonus that Red Bandit talked about this morning as well. This info has been compiled over on the Red Dead Redemption 2 subreddit, so shout out to them as well for this video. The first piece of information is that crafting will be an option weapons ammo tools and lores so we've talked about crafting a lot recently and I'm not just repeating information crafting isn't just about crafting new clothing and weapons for Arthur Morgan we can go so far as to craft ammo like incendiary shells and hollow point rounds and much much more we can even craft different tools for Arthur and tools to help out around the gang campsite maybe we can craft hatchets like the stone hatchet we were able to unlock in Grand Theft Auto online as well as if you complete the challenge you get it in Red Dead Redemption 2 we can craft knives and even other campsite gear and then we can craft lures and bait for animals and fish and that's pretty cool in Red Dead Redemption 1 you had animal bait but it was basically like this small bottle with a cork top of like some type of fluid and you dump it on the ground and you'll attract some type of animal that's in the area but in this game you can craft specific types of bait for different animals like bear and wolves and things like that and even bait for fish to put on your fishing rod and fishing hook and this brings me to my next piece of information aromatic plants can be picked like thyme mint oregano etc they can be picked and used in recipes so this is the little bonus I was talking about red bandit mentioned in his video this morning that we can even gather these plants to craft different poisons that's insane honestly the, the fact that you can utilize plants in such a way to make foods and potions but also make recipes that can harm and kill other players I can see it right now that people are gonna be uploading you know poison montages on YouTube of killing different NPCs with poisons throwing poison at people off their horse or something like that hog tying someone making them drink poison on Honestly, the possibilities are endless. The third piece of information is that Arthur can sit anywhere that there is a chair. Now we learned that Arthur can enter every single building in the game and Rockstar even took it a step further last month and said that we can open drawers and cabinets in these buildings and that was also shown off in Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay trailer part 2. But now we're learning that we can sit in any chair of the entire game. <laughs> Okay. I know that sounds super dumb and unimportant, but this means that Arthur can interact with literally anything in the game. I know Rockstar was kind of hinting at that and different media outlets recently have said that it's true, but that's their perspective. Since we haven't played the game yet, we don't know what they mean by everything. You know, they could be exaggerating, but this information kind of confirms that. The fact that Arthur can sit down wherever, not just on dirt patches on the ground, not just during cutscenes when he needs to sit down, but if you walk into a saloon, you can pick whichever chair you want. You know, you don't just walk over to the bar and press LB or LT to sit down. You can choose the specific chair you want to sit down in if you want to face the exit so you don't get shot in the back of the head like Wild Bill Hickok when he was playing poker. Just things like that. Little details like that just show how awesome this game is going to be, and I hope you're super excited for it. Animals can smell Arthur Morgan, so it's advisable to avoid being upwind of animals. Now, this was mentioned in the hands-on previews a few weeks ago as well, but I'm bringing this new information to the channel that I myself haven't specifically talked about here on the channel before. I don't know how much of you guys research Red Dead Redemption 2 in your spare time, besides watching my own videos or Legacy Killers or Red Bandits or anything like that, so I'm just giving out information here. It's still really awesome. Hygiene was confirmed in the Red Dead Redemption to gameplay trailer part two so maybe if you bathe that may also help you mask your scent but it's tough to say like will animals be more attracted to hunting you down and killing you if your smell is really stinky or if you're clean can they not smell you as much like I don't know I mean after all animals are animals and they just want to eat you at the end of the day and the last piece of information I want to talk about is temperature and how Arthur reacts to temperature changes before the user changes clothes so for example Arthur unbuttons his jacket as it gets warmer and then completely unbuttons it once he's too hot this is something I really wasn't expecting. Not only will Arthur lose health when he's not dressed appropriately for cold weather or suffer heat stroke if he's too hot, but we as players will also be able to observe him buttoning up or unbuttoning his own clothes as he passes into a different type of environment and terrain. And this level of detail blows me away. It was mentioned that you lose health in cold weather if you aren't dressed appropriately, right? Like say if you aren't wearing a really warm jacket, Arthur Morgan will slowly start to lose health and eventually freeze to death. 
but in hot weather, I didn't think if you put a jacket on him, he would actually take the jacket off. That's a cool little safety precaution. So I guess you can't really kill Arthur Morgan by heat stroke because maybe the game will force him to take his jacket off if he becomes too hot. But maybe the same thing can be said about the cold as well. If you're on horseback and you have a jacket equipped in the inventory of your horse saddlebags, will Arthur automatically put the coat on to stay warm or will he just lose health until you manually as a player choose to equip him with a jacket? I'm not too sure. I have a lot of questions about this stuff but nonetheless that wraps up what I want to talk about in today's video let me know what you thought down in the comments I feel like this temperature change that we've now seen here in this new information is probably the highlight of today's video other than crafting the poisons that red bandit was talking about this morning as well I want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for all your support welcome to all the new subscribers recently like I said let me know what you think down in the comments what you think your highlight is from this video for now drop a like if you guys enjoyed and found today's video helpful and the information helpful as well also subscribe to the channel if you are new and check out my red dead redemption 2 playlist down in the description and don't forget if you want to win an ultimate edition copy of red dead redemption 2 i'm giving away two copies here on my channel to enter just check out the links and rules down in the description and also please be sure to follow me at hazardous hdtv so i can talk with you in real time over on there i tweet out when all my videos are going live so you can be the first ones to watch i also have a discord if you guys want to check it out as well thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a fantastic day and i'll catch you guys in the next video adios amigos